Hi student, uh, I will continue my lesson that's a 5.2 damping and also resonance. So from here we starting going and see what means of the damping. Damping actually is a one of the process. Okay, whereby the oscillation die down. Die down means slow down due to the loss of the energy to the friction of the forces. Okay, let's see the diagram here. The diagram is a pendulum that oscillate. Okay, when you see this one diagram, that means the oscillation angle should be the same. This one we cannot say there is a damping because the oscillate keep at the same angle. This one is a vibration. Vibration, can you see the spring? They also vibrate at the same uh, location, is it? So this one we also cannot say damping. Damping the situation is oscillation, they will slow down. That means the angle becomes smaller and smaller. Then the reason is why? Loss of energy to the surrounding. So from here, we see the second sentence. When a system is damped, the amplitude of the oscillation decreases slowly until the system stops oscillating. So that means you must know how to find the amplitude. Okay, let's see this part. If I oscillating, okay, this one we call amplitude. So that means if damping happens, the amplitude of the oscillation they will decreases slowly. But finally, they will stop. Okay, let's see the diagram. Okay, can you find it? When they start to swing, the amplitude should be the highest. When slowly, slowly, you find it, the parallel angle becomes smaller. So this one situation, we call it as a damping. Okay, so from the diagram, we find it, the amplitude of the swing. When starting, there's a, it's a big angle, is it? Finally, they become slowed down. So this one situation, we call it there's a damping. Okay, from here, we can explain the graph of the displacement against time. Displacement against the time. So from here, when starting, we find the amplitude is higher. A1 should be higher. A2 becomes more. A3 also smaller. Then the last one is a A4. The amplitude becomes smaller and smaller against the time. So from here, the amplitude for the oscillation decreases with the time. Okay, when I plot the graph amplitude against the time, so when starting the t, when starting t, a1 should be the highest. Until 3t, that means the time for third oscillation, so you find it, a will drop until become a4. So this one is amplitude decreases with the time. Amplitude decreases with the time, they show what? Show the experiences, gradual loss of the energy. Finally, the oscillation becomes stopped. Okay, here we got two of the example. You can refer the diagram here. When starting the first one, okay, the first one, the oscillating uh, of the vibration of the spring. So this one vibration that happened in the A, in the normal room. Lah. When the normal room surrounding, we got A molecule, is it? So there uh, will damp. When you find the amplitude become drop. So this one situation, we call it damping. Okay, another diagram. Okay, you can see the spring. They already keep inside one of the boxes. The boxes should be the vacuum. So you find it, there's still, there's still vibration. Although you never touch anything, never using any force. So you find it, the amplitude. The amplitude keep at the 5 uh, cm, I think so. 5 cm, mean this one situation, we cannot say there's a damping. Because we don't have any A molecule to affect it. So don't have any, any energy will be lost. Now we need to see why the energy we lost. Okay, we got two situations, the energy loss, then the cost about damping. Okay, first one we call external damping. Okay, oscillation system lost energy. Okay, overcome the friction of the A resistant. Because surrounded, we got A molecule, is it? So this one we call it, they overcome the external A resistant. Okay, another one is the internal damping. Internal, what we get it? internal of the object we got molecule so the molecule they will vibrate then the molecule when they vibrate or when they compress you stretching you find it they also lost energy to the surrounding so from here external air resistant internal molecule or particle of the object they also will cause damping will happen so from here the effect of the damping how we go to overcome we using periodic external force 
that means you need to add the external force to overcome the energy loss. Let's see the next one. And can you see the father that keep push the daughter go to swing? Okay, for this one situation, we can say the father they go to create the periodic force. Finally, you can find it the swing keep oscillate in the maximum amplitude. So this one situation we can call it there's a resonance. If you don't have the periodic force, we find it the amplitude that was low is it? They become smaller, become dampy. Okay, so this one is a one of the periodic forces you want to overcome the damping process. So from the diagram we find it, uh, when the father they keep go to push the daughter swing, go to maximum amplitude. This one we call periodic external force because they're using the force to push it. So this one force we can call transfer energy into the oscillating system to replace the energy loss. Okay, they replace the energy loss. So the system we say this one is a force oscillation. You force the object to move. So this one force we call it periodic external force. Okay, when the periodic force is applied to the oscillating system, so we find it the oscillating system later will be achieve resonance. Okay, what means of the resonance? Resonance means they will produce a maximum amplitude. Okay, let's see the natural frequency first. Okay, natural frequency means the frequency of the free oscillation of the system. That means you without any forces to push it, you just let it to swing. That one we call natural frequency. They say without any natural forces, uh, external forces are added to the system. So then when they start to swing, so you let it to swing faster. After that, they will damage it. So this one situation we call natural frequency. Okay, then we're going to see resonance. Resonance, the definition is frequency of the force. Frequency of the force, the meaning is what? There's a periodic force. That means the force you go to apply to the object. Okay, vibration of the object when they match to the natural frequency. So we got two frequency. One is a force frequency, another one is a natural frequency. When both become match, what happened? The dramatic increases in the amplitude result. So they will produce a maximum amplitude. So this situation we call it there's a resonance. So during the resonance, system oscillation is natural frequency okay the system is starting must be natural frequency then another one when they achieve resonance they must have the maximum amplitude okay now we show about the two uh, tuning fork okay we see what happened for the tuning fork p and q okay we start the video first Okay, can you listen? So when starting, they're using the bulb to hit the tuning fork P. Then the one is an external force. After that, the Q is nothing. They never hit. Then they put the microphone below there. They listen the sound. So this one explanation is the vibration of the tuning fork P have force, tuning force Q. That means Q is a force to vibrate. Okay, because of the resonance with the P. They achieve the resonance, that means Q also will uh, vibrate to the maximum amplitude. So from here, this one amplitude here is represented by sound. Energy is transferred from the tuning fork P to the tuning fork Q. So the tuning fork Q, they vibrate with the maximum amplitude and produce the sound that can be detected. So this one, we cannot see the vibration too fast. We're just using the sound, maximum sound to represent to the resonance. Okay, so from here we need to go is uh, another experiment that's uh, related to the resonance by using the Baden pendulum. Okay, from this one diagram we need to see is a pendulum X. Okay, let's see the pendulum X. Okay, first one, the other pendulum uh, also never move. I just move the pendulum X. When I just oscillate the pendulum X, okay, you find it A until F. All the pendulum are forced to oscillate. Okay, force to oscillate means there's an external force. Okay, pendulum D. So we need to observe is a pendulum D. 
pendulum D, uh, the length should be equal to the pendulum X, though they have the greatest amplitude. Greatest amplitude means pendulum D, now they achieve the resonance. Okay, why they will achieve the resonance? Because they have same length. When they have the same length, means the natural frequency of the pendulum D, they will match to the forces forced by the X. So we can say natural frequency. Another one is uh, uh, the frequency of the pendulum X. We've got two frequency. One is a natural, one is a force. When they just match, okay, resonance will happen. Resonance happen to the pendulum D. Finally, the pendulum D, they will oscillate to the maximum amplitude. So this one we call resonance. And let me see the effect of the resonance in the daily life. For the first one, we got one of the speaker. They're playing to the 1000 hertz of the sound. Then in front, we put one of the glass. Okay, we see what happened. Okay, so this one is starting. Now we go and see the second diagram. This one is a real one, one of the glass in front of the speaker. Okay, so finally you can see it. They achieve the maximum amplitude, so resonance achieves it. So the glass that will spoil because the natural frequency and also the force frequency match. So finally they will be broken. Okay, this one is the effect of the resonance in the daily life. Uh, this one is a, uh, the new, uh, the exactly the news from the. Uh, Washington from USA. It's a 1914. The Hanging Bridge. Okay, Tacoma Narrow in the Washington USA. They collapse due to the strong wind. Strong wind means the external frequency causes the bridge to oscillate with the large resonance and also amplitude. So when they just match what happened for the bridge, okay, then we see the video. Okay, so from the video when starting we find it that vibrate is it? So vibrate the situation means uh, the frequency still not yet match. They almost the match. Right? When they just match, you find it the straightforward to collapse. So this one situation we call resonance happen. So they achieve maximum amplitude. Finally the bridge will be breaking. Okay, so this one just one of the simple of the subtopic, just damping and also resonance. So hopefully you will understand about that. So uh, the next one, you need to continue the tutorial. Uh, that's a 5.2. So everyone, uh, if you don't understand, then you can PM me. You also can be repeat to see the video. Okay, thank you for your watching. Thank you for your watching.